guys, I am Angela Jean and welcome to my channel. I am super excited for 2022. As Oprah would say, I am so full of myself lately that my cup has runneth over that I've got to just share with you guys. And one of the main things I learned this entire year is that when you are looking for something, it means you are lacking. If you're looking, you're lacking. So when I came to Miami, I was looking for love and I couldn't find love. What does that tell you? If you're looking for something you can't find, it's lost, right? If I'm looking for my keys and I can't find them, they're lost. If you are looking for love and you can't find it, what does that mean that your inner being is telling you? It's always a reflection of what's going on internally. What's going on externally is going on internally. If you're looking for love and you can't find it, it means you lack self love. What you're looking for is what you're lacking. Okay. And that is with everything in life. And I have done so much work this year and I forced myself to be single and celibate, which I'm going to elaborate on in the video right after this, but I have forced myself to be single and celibate because of the fact when you navigate life from a rock solid foundation and a place of power, you really are the driver of your life. You really are navigating your life. You are making choices that are serving you versus if you continue to navigate life from an unstable place, unhealed place, codependent place, uh, you know, someone that locks boundaries, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. You really are the passenger in life. You are taking anyone that comes to you because you're just so thirsty. You know, you're thirsty to be validated. You're thirsty to be loved. So you're accepting friends that aren't that great. You're dating guys that suck. You're allowing people to treat you in a certain way because you're a passenger. You're not standing in your power. So you are just taking anything you get. You know what I mean? It's like someone that hasn't drank water in a year. They're just going to drink whatever, even if it's poison. Okay, you guys. So what I really want to share with you is just how I got here. <laughs> you know what I mean? I had to shut my life down this entire year and I am in such a place of gratitude every time I just wake up and look around like everything is so much shinier and sparkly and beautiful because I'm so aligned with my inner being, my source, with God, you know what I mean? That I really want to share with you guys a few little techniques that I want you to apply moving into the new year. Okay, you guys, so two things that I wanted to share with you that I have learned. You all know that I am a rehabber. I rescue things, whether it's animals, whether it's furniture I find on the curb, you know, I do the fashion hacking. So for me, helping is just built into my nature. And when you track that all the way back, it's probably because obviously, you know, my inner child wishes someone would have helped me. That's a dot I connected. So I have moved forward and rehabbing and helping and rescuing everything. Okay. Well, what I learned in the last few years is that if someone does not ask you for help, do not help them. I have learned that it actually irritates them and has the reversed effect. The only job you have oftentimes, because I also thought to myself, well, why am I attracting in these people that are so broken? You know what I mean? I always used to say that God uses me to heal his men. You know what I mean? But the fact of the matter is you guys, if someone doesn't ask for help and this is everything, this is friends, this is lovers, this is family members, do not help them. Have you ever noticed how sometimes if someone comes to you to talk and you start giving them advice, they get annoyed and they push back. Sometimes I would think to myself, I'm like, why am I attracting this person? Like I've done a lot of healing. I know that I'm vibrating higher than this. And through a teaching I heard this week, I was like, oh my God, that's so interesting. I want to share it with you guys. It was from Abraham Hicks. She said, sometimes our job is not to help them. Do not help them. All our job is, is to like stay vibrationally aligned, be your happy, vibrating, magnetic self, and maybe you'll inspire them. And the reason why you're attracting them in, because a lot of times if you believe in the power of attraction, God's source depends, you're thinking to myself, like, why would God bring me this person? Why would the universe bring me this person? How am I aligned with this person? Oftentimes you are not, but you are in the sense that you have something you can offer to them. So their higher being, 
or God, whatever you believe in, is dragging them to you, you know, fighting and kicking, hoping that they will be inspired by something you not say in a sense of helping them, but just in the inspiring way that you live your life. You know what I mean? Have you ever heard people say, oh, I loved her energy, or you just liked the energy in the place? Oh, the place had a good vibe. People are very, very connected to their energy, whether they know it or not. Everybody knows a feeling when you walk into a place. So oftentimes that is why you're attracting people in. So your duty is not to do what I did all last year and try to help and give them all this advice because you piss a lot of people off and you come off as a miss know it all. You know what I mean? So everything is about just balancing your gifts, balancing your own deficiencies and aligning with yourself and aligning with God. And so now you guys, I wanted to, I'm going to put this in another video, but I'm jumping into a video right now. So I have been dating all year but forcing myself to remain single and celibate and oh my god you guys celibacy is gold and so i want you all if you are struggling in your relationships i'm going to be very careful with my words because like i said in the beginning i don't want to say that you're looking for love because if you're looking for love you need to sit still with yourself and get aligned and do some inner work but i will tell you guys what celibacy has done it has really allowed me to hold on to my power while I work on myself, I'm still dating. Don't get me wrong. I'm still giving out some blow jobs here and there, <laughs> but it has allowed me to observe myself, my attachment styles, my codependency issues. And this has also been through the female friends I'm attracting in because I've noticed it. I'm, I'm able to like go on a date and then come back and be like, oh shit. Okay. So I'm still kind of doing that attachment thing, feeling more than I should for this total stranger. And now obviously that it's been like a whole year. It's like, now it's like, God, man, you guys, I wish I could just tell you how I, it's just like such a powerful, peaceful place. And so now whatever partner aligns with me and compliments my life, I'm ready for. Um, but I am going to share this in the video that I'm going to do right now. I just want to tell you guys this little bit of information with this video is just how to take your power back. Don't give it away. If someone asks you for help, sure. But if not, stop giving people help because you're also giving your power away and it's not gonna be reciprocated and that's like you just giving energy away. When I say reciprocated, it's not that they have to help you back, but it's that you know that what you did helped them. So that's what I mean by being reciprocated. It's not like you're giving to receive something back, it's just you know that when you're giving, you're helping and that is kind of what you're getting back, you know what I mean? We are all here to help lift each other up but when you're you know trying to tug someone like it's like trying to lift a weight out of the water it's like it just pulls you down it drains your energy and then you're less than you're not as useful and powerful as you can be navigating through the world so you have to be careful who you give your power to and this is done through trying to help them there's a million other ways but that's just the one thing i wanted to tap down on in this video to really put a rein on yourself <laughs> because we're women and we want to nurture everybody moving into 2022 to really hold on to your power unless someone asks if they deserve it if you know it's going to help you know that's why you have to be selfish with your spirituality it's very important very important all right so that is it for today you guys how to take your power back moving into 2022 we will jump into the other video that talks about celibacy and dating right after this one so check that one out and i will see you guys in a few days Bye.